Who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name's Carol. I'm a project manager for Independent Futures. I support people um, within their own homes with their own tenancies who have a learned disability or there's some people with autism as well. But we also work in conjunction with Red Workshops which offer and to offer support uh, in employment for young people. How can your service help me and other young people? What we do with the Red Workshops, we offer support where we, we will actually get a group of people together and they do a two day workshop and that goes into how you can maybe start off your own business or be involved in what you call a micro enterprise which is like a small business. Um, you get the skills and you get support of how they pull a business plan together. It probably sounds a little bit scary at first but a guy who takes the workshops takes you through step by step um, and it's not just a, a learning thing for people but it's also quite fun two days as well. Um, I'll give you some examples. We've just started off um, a car washing business and it's eco-friendly and it's using no water which I thought was a bit strange as well at first but it's a, a company in Exeter which I'm actually going to take two members of staff down and the company down there have quite a thriving business and it's for people who have a learning disability who actually do this and they work in one of the government buildings there and wash people's cars so you haven't got any access to water so by using these sprayers you clean everybody's car um, so we're actually, we've had a little bit of a test run with that because we had our cars washed um, and they came with gleaming and it was really good. The three um, gentlemen who were involved with it absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it and can't wait to actually start you know, the process again. Um, we also have um, a dog walking as well and we're going to be actually looking to where we can put it in maybe three different areas of Sunderland and the people will go out walking other people's dogs but also they'll be supported by staff as well and just earning some money. Um, we also have a young gentleman who now works in a cafe, um, which is called the Monk's Cafe, and he works down there. He's thoroughly enjoying it, and that's a step towards maybe he's going on to our next venture, which is Harrington Park. At what age do I leave your service, and where do I go? There's no age for you to leave. Um, we will be there as long as you want us for support. But obviously, we want the person who comes and does the red workshops to progress even further as well and how we can actually support them to build up their own business in the community as well and also help them with you know, somewhere to live. So I think that's all we want, we want somewhere to live and a job as well.